Hi, myself Pramod Kumar. In this video, I am demonstrating UZT triggering circuit for control rectifier. This triggering circuit, I am considering a 2N2646 UZT with a R1 and C1 parameters or designed for to generate 10 millisecond pulse to trigger the rectifier circuit and VBB for base supply voltage and we have a two base one with a terminal base or resistance as 100 ohms and another base resistance as also 100 ohms. This detailed description of the manual you can download from below link. This includes the setup for simulation. Let me begin with capture CIS tool. In this EDA, just select file new project. Here give a reference experiment name. Here I'm giving UZT. with the experiment reference then uh, select analog mixed mode library instances then browse for the location to save press ok then select create a blank project immediately after this you have a window with uh, no instances here select go to part that is place and click part you have a window on the right side for selecting instances type 2n2646 press enter you have a component available to place like this okay now select a resistance or for the base terminals try to rotate this by pressing R in the keyboard this is for base 2 this resistance is for base 1 and to charge the capacitance, I am using one more resistance here R3 and take a capacitor to achieve a valley, resist, valley voltage and a peak voltage across the UZT. Then take one more instance called VDC for base to base voltage. Now interconnect the components using wire on the right side. Connect the components as base to base with the base terminal voltage and the capacitance with the resistance. Then vary the resistance in a base 2 it must be 100 ohms and uh, base 1 also 100 ohms with a resistance for charging and discharging here I consider 57.4 kilo ohms and the capacitance as 0 0.02 micro uh, here for micro means U you need to type then rename the instances with a RB2 on the top okay RB2 and uh, this is a resistance for base 1 of the UZT 
and this is the resistance I'm taking as R1. Now we have a base, two base voltage as VBB with a voltage for about 25 volts. After this design, go for PSPICE new simulation profile. A profile for simulation I am giving a reference name as test1. Now you have a simulation pop-up window, setup window. Uh, here you need to consider time domain transient uh, analysis for about 10 milliseconds and the maximum step size need to consider 0 0.0001 for smoother waveforms. Press OK. Then go back to PSPICE and run this simulation profile. In this, it's uh, showing the error because I not uh, connected any ground here. Okay, better go for connecting the ground. That is uh, capture SYS ground then go back and run this simulation you have no errors now but pspice window is empty for this you need a voltage differential marker across the capacitor for charging and discharging cycle to see okay this is a point where you can get a peak voltage across the UZT and this is the point where we can get a valley voltage across the UZT. To get a triggering pulse, you need to place a marker across this resistance R1 or RB1 in base 1. Here you can see the triggering pulses okay if you want to see a separate windows for capacitance potential charging and discharging and uh, triggering pulse for rectifiers then right click on the any characteristics curve add plot here you need to copy any one characteristics to clipper then paste it here. Whatever you pasted, the characteristics you need to hide. Now you can see for better view, I am making this bold in a trace property. This is for capacitance charge and discharge, and uh, the red one, whatever you are seeing, the pulse, the triggering pulse, is a uh, for is from uh, the base one of UZT. This pulse will be used, triggering pulse used for SAR for uh, rectifier circuit, full wave or off wave rectifier circuit. And uh, this is a point in a capacitor where we can get a peak voltage for a UZT and this is a point where this capacitance voltage reaches to value voltage for the uh, UZT to turn off. This is it. Thank you.